right, YouTube, it is Mr. Bean coming at you this Friday afternoon at about 6, 11 p.m. I will upload this later tonight. I just wanted to do a quick video. Uh, my buddy, Craig Randall, good friend of mine, known him for years, um, used to come over. <laughs> he would come over to the house and we would play Rage, the old collectible card game, for hours. And he would make these crazy decks and he would always stomp my ass because I, I just don't have the mind. You know, I can whip up complex game adventures, but building a card deck, just, it's not my cup of tea. I've never been a card flopper. I've played Magic, I've played Rage, uh, Doom Trooper, just never, never built winning decks, always, but just thought, I've always had fun with it. But anyway, tonight's video du jour is uh, a big thank you to Craig. Um, but before we get to that, let's get some housekeeping out of the way. A big thank you to all the new subscribers. I think we had one or two. I know I, I listed them last week. Uh, when I uploaded the video or earlier this week, but uh, we've had a couple. Uh, Simon Bo Boucher, Boucher, uh, I think that's the only. Oh, Vorax Transstellaris, we already mentioned him, and Todd. So thank you guys for subscribing. Really appreciate it a lot. Um, you know, it just doesn't get any better. I think my my fans are the best fans in the world. Uh, my followers, uh, the meanies, as I like to call you guys. Uh, are just phenomenal you guys rock uh i can't say enough nice things about them uh guys like miguel who sent me this awful uh awful excuse me this awesome uh zenhauser uh speaker uh which now all of my recordings sound 10 times better uh g kanks uh i actually got to play with him last night he's a longtime follower and a supporter of the channel thank you for the awesome donation sir uh, it was pretty funny. I was trolling uh, Discord last night, just playing on my PC, and I get a message saying, you know, hey, haven't supported the channel in a while, so I sent a little something your way, and I was like, oh, okay, you know, I, no big deal. Uh, and then my my phone went off, and I got a notification. I was like, holy crap, dude, thank you. That's so very very kind, very generous donation from G Kanks, uh, and I appreciate it very very much. And then on top of that, he invited me to play in his D and D. Oh, excuse me. A D and D second edition game, and I gotta say, guys, it's been a long time since I had the futz with Thaco, and thankfully G Kanks did it all for us. Uh, but uh, it was a lot of fun. I had a blast. It, it, he has a great group of friends. Sounds like he's been gaming with them for quite a while, and they are awesome. So big shout out to those guys and for letting me play. Uh, I hope to uh, make it a regular occurrence because I really did enjoy myself. Uh, sometimes it doesn't matter what the game is. It matters more the friendship and the camaraderie. And uh, he's got a very diverse group. It sounds like his son plays. He's got a young lady that plays in the group. And she's been gaming with them for like 15 years. So it's just awesome. And for them to open up their virtual world and let me in is awesome. So thank you very much uh, to G Kanks and his crew. Uh, I, I had an absolute blast. So thank you. Um, and then, uh, so that's the, you know, housekeeping, uh, you know, obviously I'm on Zelly pay, I'm on PayPal pay me, uh, I'm on discord of course. So there's all links on my YouTube channel. Feel free to go there and, uh, uh, click away, you know, uh, be rest assured that whatever donations the channel gets go back into the channel for, for fun stuff that I can bring to you guys and maybe keep you from making a purchase or purchasing something that you really want. You were on the fence about, hopefully I can help you out. So with that out of the way. A huge shout out to my buddy Craig. Um, he's like family. I've known him for years. I love the guy. Uh, and uh, he, we're both fans of this game. I don't want to say what the game is just yet. Um, and I don't know who found the game first. Um, I'm not quite sure how long he's been following him. I've been following him for about three, four years. <clears throat> and I, I'm not even sure how long they've been out. Uh, they're they're from I believe Germany, Germany or Poland I, I I can't remember the name or where they're from. Uh, the cool part is the name of the company is called Six More Vodka, which I don't drink. I'm very much a uh, a non-alcoholic person uh, for various reasons, but I I dig the name Six More Vodka and they are I think they're out of Poland. They may be German, but they work out of Poland. Um, but they uh, they're a graphics arts design studio. They make Tell, uh, they make marketing material, they, they, they do pamphlets, they do, you know, they, anything that requires an artistic touch, their hands are in it, and they do some amazing stuff. 
sixmorevodka.com. Go check them out. But anyway, they uh, revamped their website and they they made all of their they make an RPG. And I'm going to let the cat out of the bag. The RPG is called Degenesis, and I have made a video on it in the past. Go back in the archive. It's actually up there on the shelf right there. You, you really can't tell. They're spiral bound. I, I worked at a company that had access to a printing press uh, or a big Xerox uh, machine that did print quality, like book print quality, because we made our own pamphlets and flyers for the products that we made <clears throat> when I lived in Beaumont. And the director, the art director there, super nice guy, and he let me print the books. Um, and so he printed them on really nice paper for me and I took them to Kinko's and I got them spiral bound and, you know, I had them and I, I've only ran the game once and it was only one, one session and uh, it didn't go well because the players just weren't into it. They wanted to play D and D and I, I'm not a, I don't like to run D and D. It's not my cup of tea. So <clears throat> anyway, getting back to Craig's story, I'm, I'm babbling here and I tend to do that. And so I do apologize, but Craig had said, Hey man, have you seen six more vodka's website? They've got, They've got the uh, black copy of the books available, and you should go check it out. And I'll put a link down in the doobly-doo uh, so you guys can go check it out. I, I'm going to tell you right now, I think it's about $230 uh, for the books, uh, and I believe I believe that includes shipping. I'm not quite sure, or maybe shipping's free. But anyway, uh, Craig, Craig ordered the, the Monster Collector's Edition, and it he sent me pictures. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, and I was like, man, I would love that, but that's just out of my price range, man. I can't drop 200 plus dollars on, on a, on a game that I'm not even playing. I don't even have anyone to play it with because nobody knows about the game. Very few people know about the game. And on top of that, nobody wants to play it. So, you know, I, I can't justify, you know, 200 plus I have a copy. They're PDF copies. They're very clean. They're very crisp, uh, printed on nice paper, spiral bound, clear cover, back, back, you know. And they're good to read because I, I don't like reading PDFs. My old eyes don't work with the screen. And I have a really nice uh, computer screen and everything uh, because I work on a computer all day. Um, but even still, I, I just don't like uh, reading PDFs for premier, prolonged periods of time. Um, and so long story short, Greg hits me up on Discord. and He's like, hey, guess what I ordered today? And I'm like, I don't know. And he's like, I ordered the uh, Degenesis uh, bundle. I'm like, no way. And he's like, yeah. He says, but uh, I got a problem. And I said, well, what's that? And he said, well, I don't need two copies. Smiley face. <laughs> so I knew exactly where it was going. Uh, that was, uh, I think, last week. Late last week, he, he sent that to me. And I completely forgot about it. I was like, yeah, you know, I, I, Craig's a good friend and, and he has a good job. And I, I, I appreciate everything he's done for me in the past and all the stuff that he does do. But I'm like, eh, you know, it's a lot of effort for someone to go in these times, especially to go to, um, you know, U.S. or UPS store or the, the post office and mail books, which books are heavy. So you're going to pay you're going to pay a premium. And so. You know, I thought, oh yeah, you know, great. If he sends them, yeah, whatever. But I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not holding my breath. And not to say that Craig's a bad person. Just didn't think he was going to send them because maybe he'd get to the post office and be like, oh shit, fifty bucks, uh, you know. Um, and like I said, I was, if he, if he didn't send them, I would have been okay because, like I said, I have a copy, I can read it. So I'm playing with my kid tonight, and there's a knock on the door, and it's the UPS driver, and it's a lady, and she's like, I got a box for you, and I was like, oh, thank you. Completely forgot that Craig was going to send this. So I've already unboxed it. It's not coming directly from Six More Vodka. So I didn't think there was a need to, to do an unboxing video. But I wanted to go through stuff. I've already done a review of Degenesis. So go back and watch that. But this is just a, to show you the quality of when you buy these books. They are expensive. There is no doubt about it. But you are getting bang for your buck. So and by the way, Craig, I know you'll watch this later. Your packing job was awesome. The books arrived in pristine condition. So thank you so much. Um, so first we've got the Degenesis GM screen. Now this is a glossy, heavy card GM screen, uh, quad fold. It's four panels. Um, <clears throat> and that's the Degenesis logo. It's very distinct. You will not confuse this with any other game. Uh, and I like that. Um, and then, of course, there's the the big baddie. And I apologize for the glare. There's not a whole lot I can do about it because it's just the way, there you go. 
Um, it's gorgeous. So this is a, like I said, a, a quad screen or four panel. It is heavy card. It is very well put together. And as you can see, there's the Genesis logo and there's all the art. Well, there's no art, it's all black. And then on the other side, obviously it's a GM screen. So exactly what you would expect from a GM screen. There's, you know, all the GM stuff that you will need. So, and again, I forgot to flip my camera and uh, put the information on the right side. So everything's, oh no, it's, it says it's reading right. Nope, it's reading it the wrong way. Um, so I can change that. I, hopefully it won't hose the video. Uh, oh no, I can't. Okay, I'm sorry. So it's going to stay that way. Um, so that's just a taste of the art. I mean, that I don't know what that is. It's gnarly, whatever it is. And I would hate to run into it in a dark alley. But uh, go on their website, check out. They've done a couple of uh, videos uh, for promoting this game, live action videos. They are amazing. So I highly recommend them. So, so that's the GM screen, which in and of itself is literally beautiful. Um, when you order the books, you have a chance of either black or white. The black is all sold out. Um, this is a heavy tome. Here's the white, which it's pristine. And God forbid, I would never take it to a convention or anything because it would it just would get mangled. Um, if the box is a little broken on the bottom, I, I think that's just normal wear and tear. Um, it's a slip case, um, as you can see, and it says the Genesis on both sides. Um, so then you slip out the books. And it's a well-constructed little slip case, too. It's, it's not going to fall apart anytime soon. Um, you have uh, the books. And so the uh, first book says, But Life Always Finds a Way. And in the beginning, there was no light. Uh, Primal Punk and Catharsis. Primal Punk is the world. Catharsis is the rules. So you can see these are stitched, sewn, and glued. They do include ribbons. So let's go through Primal Punk first. Oh, my God, they're, they're so heavy. Um, there's a beautiful map of Europe. Uh, this is not an American-made game. This is a European game. Obviously, like I said, six more vodka. I'm pretty sure there, it's either Germany or Poland. Hopefully, we'll see. Uh, it is a very long time after, I don't want to say an apocalypse, but uh, Earth has gone to shit. Um, and we have gone back to our uh, nomadic and tribal ways. Uh, there are some pockets of civilization. Uh, like I said, go back and, and, and check out my review. Uh, uh, yeah, they're out of Germany. Pretty sure. Printed in the EU, which is good. So it wasn't printed in China. And it's just, oh my God, it's it, this is just a gorgeous book. Um, I mean, that's some of the art right there. I mean... It's just crazy. The Jackal's Prophecy. The fiction in here is worth every minute of it. If you, if you like to read fiction uh, of your game worlds and stuff, then this is some great stuff. Um, <clears throat> it, it's just, I can't, I can't gush enough to say how beautiful this book is. Uh, I'll find a couple of pages of art. Um, there's one right there, Primal Punk. I mean, that's just, and the camera, I mean, camera doesn't do it justice how, how good the quality of this is. Um, there's always a lot of fiction for every section. Uh, this book has a lot of fiction in it, but it's very well written. I haven't found too many, if any, typos. Um, but I will tell you that it is amazing. Um, that's my son being a turkey. That's his vision of his favorite movie is Secret Life of Pets 2, although he's becoming very fond of one, too. Uh, so this book goes into it. Um, there's all the different, the 13 cults. You don't have a character class, you have a cult. And you choose which cult you want. One of the cults is the Spitalians, which are basically the Italians. Uh, I don't remember the reasoning why they call them uh, the Hell Victics. Uh, the Chroniclers, the Judges, which are my favorite because they carry a big hammer and they just smack the shit out of people. Uh, Clanners, Scrappers, Neo-Libyans, Scourgers, and that's it. That's your 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 clans, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's only eight. It's supposed to be, oh, and then the Anubians, 
Jemidaeans, the Apocalyptics, the Anabaptists, and the Palers. And then, it, and then there, well, there's Marauders too. Uh, so, guys, I, I, Craig, thank you, buddy. Uh, this is a dream come true because this is uh, a gorgeous, gorgeous book, uh, the Borka. And there's a, a each section uh, has a piece of character art. Um, this is one of the areas of civilization. You can see there's a city like a factory with black smoke coming out. Uh, we've gone back, you know, it's kind of medieval. There is technology, but only in the major sections, It's but it's not very advanced. Um, and it's just, you know, it's just crazy. There are, like I said, there are some, some technology areas, and then there's some areas that are just basically wasteland, and it's every man for himself. Uh, Franca, uh, this is pretty much your, I believe, your German, your Germans. You can see there's a nice picture of her. So it kind of gives you an idea of how they dress and, and a little bit of their technology. Like the Spitalians have, you know, really good art. Uh, and there you go. It's so far in the future. That's the um, Eiffel Tower. And you can see it's uh, overgrown and jacked up. So, uh, again, the fiction in here is amazing. I can't wait to dive into this. This will be sitting next to my bed. And every night I try to read a little bit before I go to bed. Uh, and uh, this is uh, this is going to be some some fantastic reading is all I can say. Um, the uh, the wildlands, the Balkans, look at that. I mean that's just phenomenal art. Um, and you know it just goes on and on and on. I mean this the the imagery and the art that this game. It, in, it captures is just amazing. Um, it's very well done. Um, there, there's all all the art is, is uh, this is you may have seen this on on a couple of my wallpapers in the background on my computer, but that's an amazing piece of art right there. So this book is just full of it, and it's uh, they also give you some pictures of their weapons, you know that kind of thing. Uh, and then you have classes, so you go down, you go down a path. You know, you start out as like a neophyte, and then you go on. Like here's the battalions, the last uh, bastion, um, and you know they, he's obviously holding a gun, and he's also got a sword. So these guys are no joke. They have probably the best armor, and they have the best weapons, or some of the best weapons. And uh, they they uh, they still have horses and cavalry. Uh, yeah, there's a good picture of like the standing army they're saluting. So, uh, basically the, the Roman church and, uh, a military organization all in one, the chroniclers, um, again, amazing art. Um, the neat thing about this game is it's, uh, a derivative of the, it, it's not the white wolf system, like vampire or the masquerade or werewolf, but it is a stat and a skill but instead of using d10s you use a d6 um and so you, you form a dice pool and i believe only sixes count five or sixes count i don't remember the game mechanics i'll have to brush up on them but each book does come with a nice black ribbon um and i just i can't tell you guys how awesome the art is you go to their website six more vodka they have a character generator up to help you build a character uh, this is quite a bit of stuff to go through the art is just literally, I mean, I know I keep showing you pictures and stuff, but it's it's not doing it justice. Um, and the art all follows a very, very consistent theme. It's very dark. It's very medieval. Um, but yet it's also invocative of the setting. You'll definitely get a feel for this game, even if you don't want to read it all. Antibaptist or Anabaptist with a flamethrower. That guy is obviously not playing around. So, so that's uh, Primal Punk. This is uh, this is so this is character creation. I got it wrong, um, and this is a little world setting. And I think Catharsis is the actual setting of the world. So we will look at that next. So there's Catharsis. There's the cover. And again, just gorgeous. I mean, here's a black and white drawing of the Spitalians. Can get it all in there. I can't see my big fat head. So amazing art. That's on the inside cover. Uh, I think this is the world book. 
Oh no, this is the game mechanic. So that one has uh, the the so yeah, Primal Punk is the world setting and has the cults. It lists who they are. There's no game mechanics in there. Uh, you go into this book and you have all of your character creation, how combat works, the bizarre burn from hell, telling the story and into dust, which is all basically GM slash player stuff. Um, and it is amazing. There's pictures of art, uh, you know, for some weapons. It's just amazing stuff. Um, some bugs and some critters. Um, if I remember the lore correctly, um, a meteorite hits Earth and causes basically, I don't want to say an ice age, but the spores that were carried along with the meteor uh, infect Earth. And uh, they don't really mention much about North America in here. I'm hoping there's another supplement or they do a supplement that will talk about North America um, to put this in the hands of us Yanks. I mean, not safe for work moment here, kids. But, I mean, that's amazing art, you know. And she may be hot, but I think she'd kick your ass. I know she would definitely kick my ass. And there's the character tree I was talking about. So, you know, you, you start here, and then you work your way down the tree, and then you choose choices. So in this case, I'm, I'm not even sure what this is. Uh, this is, oh, Judge. Yeah, and I mean, just amazing art. There's, a, uh, I think, a Spitalian trooper. It's just amazing. You can see some of the technology built into the armor. Soldier, corporal, and then you, you know, once you go there, you choose sapper, grenadier, sentinel, radio beam, medic, genie, forager, spotter. And then you can split off from there to be a, a special detachment, saboteur, or sub-Latin, or an infiltrator. And then you go on from there. You get the guess. And you get uh, feats and, and abilities and traits. It is, uh, I mean, and like the South African area has a very strong, you know, Zulu warrior vibe, or you know, and then the battalions, like I said, have that Roman, almost centurion feel. But yeah, and there's little pockets of society. It, it's really, I mean, there's like I said, some technology. There's not a lot, uh, you know, almost like you still got muskets. But then you've got flamethrowers and, you know, machine guns and all kinds of uh, crazy stuff, you know, but bullets are are hard to come by. Um, so, I mean, look at this, you know, there's, there's some sort of like, I, not powered armor, but obviously armored up uh, battalion guy. Um, obviously, you can see who has all the oomph, the military might. Um, but, you know, like the, the judges aren't to be ignored because they can do some damage with that hammer. Forbidden Zone, that's where the virus stuff, the bio stuff, uh, again, not not safe for, for work moment, but you can see uh, that's kind of the shit you're going to run into. This is very much mature themed, um, you know, adult oriented game. Uh, a lot of people are dirty, you know, running water is a luxury, not not an assess, not a, not a, a given. Uh, and they don't talk too much about vehicles, if I remember. Uh Great piece of art right there. Corpse Eater. Guess what happens when you die around him? You probably don't even have to die, if you know what I mean. Um, so all your mechanics are in here. Um, it's very invocative. Uh, woolly Mammoths, obviously, are back. Um, there's Spore Beast. You don't want to run into one of those. Um, lepers. Um, again, you can infer... Uh, there's some critters. Let's see this. Oh, there we go. Stukov scorpions. Yeah. How about you run into one of those? Yeah. I mean, obviously that's reminiscent of a face hugger, but you get the gist. Um, all kinds of uh, machine men and sumos. I mean, so there's technology there, obviously. Um but yeah, a meteorite hit the Earth, really released some spores. I think the meteorite hit in Europe somewhere. Um, I, I don't remember the lore. I'm going to have to go back and read it, obviously. But the... God, I can't get over the art. How'd you like to run into that in a dark alley? Yeah, no. No, thank you. Nope, don't want to. Uh, so there's all kinds of stuff. Uh, it is amazing, to say the least. 
Um, I was hoping they would have a character sheet. Yes, they do. So character sheet is very reminiscent of White Wolf's Vampire Masquerade uh, to me. And that's the character sheet. You can pause that and, and zoom in if you want, take a better look. Um, and then that's the inside back cover of the book. So amazing. So six more vodka.com. Uh, Degenesis is the game. Craig, thank you, brother. Love you, man. This is awesome. Um, the one caveat of him sending it to me, though, was I have to run a game, and now I have no excuse because I have physical books. I had physical books before, but now I really have the books. So, Craig, thank you, brother. It was uh, uber kind of you to, to send this to me, uh, spending hard-earned money out of your pocket. I I can't even tell you how much I appreciate it. It is, it is going to be lovingly adored and taken care of. Um, you can't see it, but I'm putting it on a mat on the floor because I don't want it to hit the floor. <laughs> that's how goober I am about my books, guys. So uh, that that's really it, guys. I just wanted to kind of go over that, give you a taste for it, tell you to go check this game out. If you like a stat plus skill uh, game that uses D6s and has a, a, a pretty neat uh, game mechanic, uh, this is the game for you. If, if you want a very mature, adult-oriented game, uh, this is definitely the game for you. Um, if you want a game with very dark and gritty art, this is definitely the game for you. That's a coffee table game. Uh, the art is so... It's... I, I hate to say this. It's better than Shattered. I gushed about the Shattered RPG and how awesome the art was. And the art was awesome in Shattered and is awesome. Um, this is just a notch above. But again... Shattered was created by a bunch of guys that had a campaign going for a bunch of years and wrote their own game world. Uh, this is a design house. These are This is these guys' full-time job. So I expect that quality of art in, in that type of book. And you pay for it. Like I said, these, these books are not cheap. Um, go to sixmorevodka.com. Tell them Mr. Mean sent you if you buy it. Uh, I don't think you'll be uh, uh, upset. And like I said, you can go on their website. You can download everything for free. Everything I just showed you is on their website for free. Um, so, but I'm a big fan of if I enjoy something or it speaks to me, I, I, I'm going to buy it. Um, in this case, I didn't have to because thanks to Craig, um, I got it. And it is amazing. So I'm going to go sit on the couch and I'm going to start reading. I just wanted to say, just post a quick video and say thank you to everybody for staying uh, and watching me uh, during these times. Of course, all we have now is time, right? We can't do anything. We can't go anywhere. Uh, stupid COVID. Uh, but hopefully I brought you some information that uh, maybe you'll pick the game up or at least download it and take a peek at it. If you do download it and take a peek at it, let me know if you plan on buying it uh, or what you think about it. Um, I'd love to hear it in the comments. So anyway, guys. Peace, love, and hair, hair grease. And remember, Mr. Mean says, as always, be nice.